Welcome back to Oblivion here in Snowy Bruma, um, which is very uh, thematically appropriate for the time of year, because uh, as I speak, there is snow on the rooftops opposite me in the real world. <laughs> and you may still be able to hear my heater on in the background because it's still fucking freezing and I'm still not putting the heating on because I'm still not a millionaire. I'm going to I'm gonna just like stop that there before I start having a rant about um, gas prices. <laughs> I oh, at the minute I can rant about guys and gas prices like you wouldn't believe. Do you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna have a rant about gas prices. Do you know what? Three months ago I would have put the heating on without even thinking about it, and now I literally cannot afford to heat my house. Isn't that pathetic? Working full time. I am I work full time hours. Not even minimum wage. I, I earn more than minimum wage. Not much more, but a bit more than minimum wage. And I can't afford to heat my fucking house. How fucking pathetic is that? It's just the most pathetic thing in the world. Anyway, that's it. That's that's my rant. I've got it over with. We can now focus on oblivion. Right, so last time we um, encountered a tribe of naked Argonians, which was, I, I admit that made up the bulk of the part, but um, do you know what? I haven't actually edited that one yet. I've jumped straight into this one. I took like a 10 minute break and then I've jumped straight into this one. And um, the unedited footage for that is two hours and 40 minutes long, which is long for me. I mean, other better YouTubers probably record like really, really long videos like that and then manage to edit it down to about 25 minutes or something like that. But um, for me, that's that's flipping long, that is. So <laughs> I don't know how long that video is going to end up being, but you know, it's the chill series, who cares? And then we finally made it to Bruma, where the Grey Fox gave us a uh, quest to go to a monastery. However, the Countess also wanted to speak with us. And I don't know which one I want to do first, because I want to advance the Great Thieves' Guild. But I also know that that quest is creepy as anything. Um, when you go to the uh, the monastery with all the blind monks and you have to try and sneak past them. I find that one quite creepy. And you can't really put off the Countess when the Countess wants to speak to you. Um, we haven't done much in Bruma, have we? I think we've only, like, peeked our heads in to uh, sell stuff to Ongar when he was our fence. I don't think I've done any quests in Bruma, as far as I can recall. And I like Bruma. It's probably my favourite of the cities, actually. Ooh, this is a bit fancy. This is nice, this. Is this? This is how you have an entrance to a castle. You're straight through the door, and the first thing you see is the throne with a countess in it. This is exactly like um, Skyhold in uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, isn't it? I've heard much about your deeds from my people in Bruma. I trust the stipend Tolgan gave you whetted your appetite. Um, most of my deeds involve stealing things from people. So, um, if you want something stolen, I'm definitely your Khajiit. Good point. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Countess Narina Kavain. I assume you've noticed all the Akaviri relics I'm displaying. Well, it's safe to say I'm a collector of sorts. I've invested a great deal of time and money acquiring these bits of ancient history. In fact, I'd be so bold as to proclaim my collection the most complete in all Cyrodiil, perhaps even beyond. Except for one thing. A particular relic has eluded me for many years. Possessing this piece of Akaviri antiquity would make my collection complete. I'm of course referring to the Draconian Madstone. Well, obviously, um, I can just like completely avoid the conversation and ask him if I can buy a house. Uh, no, tell me about the Draconian Mad Stone. The stone is a fine bit of Akaviri craftsmanship. Worn like an amulet, this talisman is said to protect the wearer from poisons of any type. The Mad Stone appears as a snake coiled around and encircling itself. The eyes of the snake are supposed to be precious gems or some such. Through my sources, I've learned that the last reported location of the Madstone was the ruins at Pale Pass. Does it happen to be guarded by flippin' golems or something like that? Okay, so she just gave me a very, very long and boring history of Pale Pass that I zoned out of and um, I, I'm just, I just, I didn't hear anything that she said at all. <laughs> Basically, she didn't mention anything about giant monsters guarding it or anything like that, but I am sure there are probably giant monsters guarding it. I had a feeling you'd accept. Good. Then let me tell you how you're going to find the Madstone. I've come into the possession of a diary, written by an Akaviri messenger. I suspect that the text within can lead you to the ruins. Here's a translation of the passages we could still read. It was quite damaged. 
I've also included a rough map that was drawn in the diary as well. I'm also providing you with a unique key that was supposedly found with the diary. I'm assuming it'll prove useful when you arrive at the site. I paid several scouts to try and find the ruins at Pale Pass before I hired you. They were only able to locate the first of a series of landmarks. These landmarks are mentioned within the diary. The one referred to as Dragon Claw Rock has been located. I'll mark it on your map. The rest is up to you. My scouts reported bitter cold and dangerous creatures in the area, so they couldn't proceed. Be cautious and return home soon. Good luck. Okay, so she's actually, I had to speak to her again and she's given me a diary. So apparently there's like landmarks that I need to find that will lead me to Pale Pass. However, she did mention her scouts have found the first one, but they encountered bitter cold and um, monsters in the area. Uh, monsters will uh, be a problem, but bitter cold shouldn't affect me because, you know, I'm a gorgeous, sexy cat. Also, cold is literally not a thing that exists in the game. Like, it's actually not something you have to worry about. So, Dragon Claw Rock is the first landmark. So, should we go on a bit of a treasure hunt, or should we go to the monastery? I mean, all we know, for all we know, even, it might lead us to the monastery anyway. <laughs> like, we might sort of end up heading in that direction. And Do you know what? I'm going to head up to Dragon Claw Rock, and we're going to see what's occurring up there. And then we'll make our decision. Okay, so Dragon Claw Rock, I can see an imp. Um, if all of her scouts, if all her scouts had to encounter even, is an imp, then I think we can probably handle that. If I get my fire going on, something could see me. I don't know if the imp can see me. The imp cannot see me. Okay. Just launch a bit of fire at his nice sexy arse there. And then we're just going to finish him off by punching him in the face. I've arrived at Dragon Claw Rock. I should consult the messenger's diary to learn the way to the next landmark. Hang on, just need to pinch this. Pinch? Oh, yes, I'm going to pinch the imp to death. I'm just going to pinch his imp nipples. Oh, something. This is weird. It always gets weird when I talk about the imps, doesn't it? I don't quite know why. Okay, was that it? Was that the fero ferocious creatures that the scouts encountered? Because the Countess did definitely say that, they, that her scouts encountered ferocious creatures. It was a fucking imp, love. Okay, I am going to consult the um, diary. Okay, so there's a bit at the beginning which is just like backstory and lore and whatnot. And then we've got, I finally reached... Uh, sorry, I finally arrived at Dragon Claw Rock. I hope that as I head due west along the narrow path, it's nice that he put that little detail in there. Um, it's funny because he literally says, like in the first bit, that he doesn't, like, they're, they're hoping that nobody's going to find Pale Pass and nobody should be allowed to find the way to Pale Pass. And then he just writes a diary where he's, like, literally stating the way to Pale Pass. Anyway, yes, I hope that as I head due west along the narrow path, I will find someone who can ca uh, give me some news as to how our men are faring in the war. And after winding my way westward, I have come within sight of the Sentinel, a huge statue placed there by some unknown artist many years ago. Okay, so I need to head along a narrow path to the west until I find a statue, which is the opposite direction to the monastery. So I think I've decided we are going on this little treasure hunt. So hopefully there's a narrow path to the west. I mean, I can't find a path, but I can head west. And see if we hit anything. So we're right up at the edge of the map here and I keep hitting, oh there it is, I keep hitting um, you cannot go that way things. There's another imp. Is this, is this all that I'm going to encounter? Just imps. Okay that's that imp taken care of. So this is the statue. Okay this is interesting. So they headed north to the Serpent's Trail, whatever that is, presumably the next landmark. They got attacked by wolves, they just about survived. And then they reached the Serpent's Trail, seeking shelter from the elements and the wolves. What we did not foresee was the creatures had decided to make uh, the Serpent's Trail their home. I did not see them clearly, but they were huge and strong. Um, his friend, whose name I cannot pronounce, died instantly as one of them cleaved off his head with a single stroke. There were three of these huge, ugly, man-like creatures. So these aren't wolves. I ran as fast as I dared through the dark tunnels trying to escape, but as I fled, one of them hurled a boulder at me and struck me square in the back. I managed to crawl through a smaller opening and escape the lumbering monsters, but I soon realised that crawling is all I would be able to do. Okay, so we got as far as there. He was attacked by something. Could be trolls, I don't know. I also don't know if they're still going to be there, but then we don't know where to go after that. So presumably once we get there, there will be more clues there to tell us where Pale Pass actually is. So we need to head north. There is a cave north. Um, so I'm assuming that's where it's going to be. There's also imps. 
I have to admit, these landmarks are not like massively far away from each other. It's not quite the long quest that I thought it was going to be. Okay, so this is Surfer's Trail. It's the third landmark, but the trouble is I don't know where to go from here, so I'm just going to have to go in, aren't I? But he talked about giant lumbering man-like monsters. And the only thing I can think of would be trolls. I can't really think of what else they could be. If there's trolls in there... I'm, um, no. I'm not doing it if there's trolls in there. We can come back later when we're, like, stronger and have better equipment and whatnot. But we are at least going to take a peek inside and see what we can see. I found the third landmark, the Serpent's Trail, which seems to be an underground passage. I need to traverse this passage if I'm to find the ruins. So maybe the entrance to them is actually down here. Well, there's a rat. I mean, the whatever the, uh... The creatures were they might not be down here you never know i mean i don't see why the game would have ominously mentioned them if they weren't but they might not be he really nicked my arrow what an arsehole okay a little creep through i'm not even at full health <laughs> i'm gonna be quick saving a lot just in case i feel like the rats are here to lull me into a full sense of security could be goblins actually they're lumbering man-like creatures aren't they I wonder if I'm going to find the body of the guy. Although presumably somebody else found his body. Because that's how they would have got the diary. Actually, I feel a bit better now I'm thinking it could be goblins. I can handle goblins. The traps. Goblins set traps, don't they? Oh, activate that. Well, I'm activating it. It's not doing now. Okay. Of course, I mean, that diary was ancient. What are the odds that whatever it was was still going to be here? I never know, I suppose. I don't know how long goblins live. Oh! That looks like an ogre. I'd forgotten about ogres. I've never encountered ogres in this playthrough, so I don't know how, if I'm any good at dealing with them. Are ogres particularly resistant to anything? I've discovered the body of the messenger who penned the diary. I've been carrying, even though he died over a thousand years ago, the bones have been well preserved by the frost in the caves. He seems to be clutching something in his bony hand. I should investigate. Diary orders. Oh. Did um, the Countess mention where they found the diary? I can't actually remember because maybe they didn't find it on his body. Maybe it got like taken by a rat or something and they found it somewhere else. Near the body of the messenger, I've discovered a slate tablet with what appears to be Akavari writing on its surface. These must be the orders the messenger spoke about in the diary. Okay, I can't read them. I mean, do I take them back to be translated or something? It doesn't actually tell me. I also don't have a map marker. I don't know if I just have to go further in. Oh, flip it, chicken. Okay. Um. Yeah, never, never had to take on ogres before. Don't know how I am against ogres. I can hear him breathing. That's really creepy. Should we try a stealth attack? Oh! That did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. Oh, you're quite cute. The way you lumber towards me like that. You're quite, quite precious and not that difficult to take down at all. Ogre's teeth. You nicked me flipping arrow though. I don't have many of them. I'm going to need them, I think. I think I'm going to need me sneak attacks. Oh, there's also a wolf there. So, uh... Oh, I didn't even manage to uh, completely take that wolf down. Are you a timber wolf? Yes, you are. Believe it or not... The wolf is causing me more trouble than the ogre did. <laughs> there we go. He did give me my arrows back, though, so that's something. Okay, I can hear another ogre breathing. So it turns out ogres aren't actually that scary. Or at least that one wasn't. I might encounter a scarier ogre. Right, there's one. I'm going to get a nice sneak attack on him. And then I'm going to run away a bit. Get me fireball out. Oh, I don't have any magic. That could be a problem. I wonder if I could just punch him in the face he does he does uh, he does a fair amount of damage i'll be honest he does a fair amount of the old damage launch another fireball at him i don't know if they're weak to fire or something fire does seem to do quite a bit of damage oh there we go and i've punched him to death That's brilliant take some ogre's teeth why not he did nick my arrow though i'm gonna run out of my dwarven arrows and that's a shame because they, they're good me dwarven arrows Oh, I can hear more ogre breathing. Okay, there's definitely another one close-ish. I can flip in here, and I don't know where he is. There's a rat. Oops, I should not be wasting my dwarf arrows on rats. There's an ogre. I'm going to assume the ogres are not, like, very perceptive. 
Well, I don't know. Perception isn't actually a stat, is it? So I don't know if it's if there's an actual thing that like certain um, creatures are more perceptive or not in Oblivion. Sneak attack on him, and I think I'm just going to try and punch him. To be honest. Whoa! Oh! 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 That was a bit. Oh! Go blind me now. There's a um, wolf after me. I'm more concerned about the wolf. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. If the wolf and the the, uh, the ogre team up, that could end up being a small problem. Okay. So get me fire going on. There we go. It wasn't too dramatic. Jesus. Oh, he gave me my arrow back. He's more conscientious than any of his friends were. And the rat also gave me uh, my arrow back. Excellent. I've got three dwarven arrows, which might be enough to get me through this place. Who knows? Ooh, shield of the empire. Reflect damage 6% on self. I keep picking up shields that have reflect damage on, and I don't use shields. But I did get that mace of burning, didn't I, last time? I might think about using a mace and a shield. Um, I keep hitting tab because I've been playing Dragon Age. I keep hitting tab to, to, to like, you know, highlight stuff, but that's not what tab does in Oblivion. <laughs> I cannot hear any more uh, ogre breathing. So, so you can hear them from quite far away. That's all there, uh, blocked off now. Oh, there's a wolf. Probably going to be a timber wolf. Oh, he did an adorable little wag of his tail. Oh, I almost feel bad about killing you now. That wasn't a timber wolf because I would not have been able to kill him in one shot. Better give me my arrow back then. If I'd have known you were a normal wolf, I wouldn't have wasted a dwarven arrow on you. Hey, give me my arrow back. Good, good. Oh, there's a rat. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch to steel arrows to take out the rat. Oh, fuck, there was an ogre. There was an ogre. I didn't realise there was an ogre. I didn't hear him. I thought I'd be able to hear him. Oh, I haven't got my sneak attack in on him. Oh, that's not good because my sneak attack takes down more than half their health. That's how I've been defeating them and now I can't see anything. Okay, I'm back to here. I'm going to get me... I want me dwarven arrows. I'll get me steel arrows because that's what I've got the most of. Um, because I am best at arrowing people. There he is. Okay, hit him. That missed. It's got these running towards us in a really weird way. Uh, that is getting quite a decent chunk of his health down. Actually, I don't think we needed the sneak attack really. There we go. And he gave me two of my arrows back, which I suppose is better than nothing. Where'd that arrow that missed go? Because um. My, arrow, my arrows are becoming quite precious. I forgot to buy any more. That's the problem. Uh, when I was in Broome, I should have bought more arrows. There was definitely one that missed, wasn't there? Where the hell has it gone? I don't know. That's an arrow we're going to have to write off. I think I'm panicking too much over these ogres because they're quite big. And I'm just sort of assuming that they're going to be really scary. But they're not really, are they? Oh, we have reached a door. We have reached a door. Okay. Drop a quick save. Stone door to pale pass. Right. So I literally just need to get through to the end. Uh, I've emerged from the Serpent's Trail and find myself face to face with the legendary Pale Pass. The path winds down to the, into the snowy valley, of, bruh, valley. If I follow it, it should lead me directly to the ruins. Yay! It is definitely, definitely going to be um, guarded by monsters, isn't it? Probably like ghost guards or something. Oh, I can see another ogre. It's just going to be more ogres. That's nothing to worry about. And right in the back of the head, and then we'll see if we can beat him up from here. Yeah, they're really not that tough at all. I mean, they do like a, quite a bit of damage, I suppose, but not like a terrifying amount. And then there's another one over there. That one did nick my arrow, unfortunately. So I've only got one uh, fourth arrow left now. Oh, my light armor skill increased. You should rest and meditate on what you've learned. Yay, I leveled up. Oh, these are special uh, ogres. That's Pale Pass Ogre Groundling. Does that mean that there's going to be, like, more scarier ogres further in? I would not be surprised if that ended up being a thing. That one also nicked my arrow, so I've got one dwarven arrow left. And then I'm going to have to switch to the silver ones. And boop. Yay! Beat him up. Yeah, they're really not that scary at all, actually. He nicked my arrow as well. Okay, so I'm going to have to switch to uh, silver. I will switch to silver. I'm not really 100% sure where I'm going. I'm just following the trail of ogres. I can't really see much. There's a statue. Oh, I was about to say, I'm sure I can hear something. It's an ogre. That takes it down about the same amount of health, to be honest. And he gave me my arrow back. Excellent. And my hand-to-hand -hand skill increased. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing well. Actually, there's a point. Now that I've hit that level up, I want to stop 
increasing my major skills again, don't I? So I should probably put my heavy armor on. Put my nice dwarven boots and my dwarven greaves on. Robe of protection, what does that look like on me? Do you know what? It doesn't look as bad as you would think, does it? But uh, we're not going to wear it just yet, so... Put my huntsman's vest back on, keep my nipples warm. Also, get me toned armor going on. Get uh, more into me conjuration skill, but I can now conjure... Um, um, actual things to help me fight. I just need to buy a spell. I was I was going to look in Bruma and I forgot. I've discovered the crumbled walls of the once mighty Fort Pale Pass. It appears to have been destroyed by a landslide long ago. I should proceed into the ruins and search for the mad stone. Have I? I mean, I can't actually see anything, love. I'm assuming if I carry on along this path. I mean, I can't see much. There's a castle. What's also something moving up there? Apparently not. There is a castle. I can't see, like, a landslide, but... Oh, actually, I suppose, maybe. Probably it would be better to come back in daylight. It's currently one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be daylight by the time I come back out again. Okay. Something can see me. Something can see me. I'm going to assume it is an ogre, probably. Yes, it's an ogre. Let's see if we can just beat this ogre in a straight <laughs> fist fight. Yeah. Do you know what? Those naked Argonians were harder to deal with than these guys. These guys are easy. Of course, now I've flipping said that, I'm probably going to get in here and we'll encounter the bloody Ogre King or something who'll just kill me with one punch. Oh! Skeletons! Interesting. I think I do alright against skeletons. Eh, maybe. Okay, I'll be honest, I did better against the Ogres. Yeah. The skeleton quite... Quite um, tough. Uh, the ruins appear to be infested with undead Akavari. I don't know how long they've been trapped here, but I should proceed with caution. I need to locate the Akavari commander of the fort who was said to possess the Draconian Madstone. Oh, fucking hell. Really? Yeah. yeah, these things are going to be tough, and all they flipping drop is bone meal. Akavari shield, that's worth a little bit. Where's your uh... Where's your sword gone? Ruined Akavari katana. Ooh, that's not. It's worth three gold, really. <laughs> Looks sexy. It doesn't even do that much damage and he was flipping slower than me, that's embarrassing. Well, I think it was more that he seems to be quite tough rather than that he was dealing a lot of damage. It just took quite a while to actually take him down. Okay, I might put my sneaky boots back on. Um, Because I think sneaking is going to be my friend in this place. Get me bow back out, I don't have a lot of arrows. Actually, it's quite light down here. I might not need me cat eye. Oh, that's creepy. That opened by itself. Guys, I don't like that. I can see traps and not much else because there's a mysterious ethereal um, glow. that I, I could just make out a skeleton over there. I'm going to get my health up. And I'm going to drop a quick save. Is there two of them? Oh, fuck off if there's two of them. Pressure plates? I don't know what they do. I wonder if I can sneak around them. Oh, this place looks like it's going to be a maze. I need to get there. I definitely don't think I'm going to be able to sneak past them. Oh, fucking hell. Is he coming this way? Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh, if I can lure him away and just fight one of them at a time. Dropping so many saves because I'm just like, quite nervous. To be honest. Quite nervous. I'm scared of skeletons. I don't know why. I just am. They creak. I don't like them. They creak. You can hear them creaking. They creak. Oh, this seems to actually go somewhere. There's a skeleton. I'm gonna have to fight him. Over. And then they hiss. They creak and they hiss. Those are like two of my least favorite things. And now I'm out of arrows. I should not have shot all those arrows at him. I'm just thinking the arrows are, are like what I'm best at. Okay, so I took him down quite easily, actually. To be honest. Um, I might be freaking out more than I need to be. I usually am. <laughs> um, did he not give me any of my arrows back? No, but sometimes with the skeletons, the arrows just like go through them and you can find them on the floor. That does not appear, appear to be the case here. So I need to equip... I think I've only got steel left, have I? I've got four steel arrows. Some of these um, skeletons might be archers, though. Always a possibility. So where is this leading me? It's leading me around. Oh, I might be able to bypass those two altogether. If I can completely sneak past people. 
I'm willing to do that. I can hear that they're creaking. Oh, fucking hell, there he is. Bop! Let's see if we can launch some fire at him. And we finish him off with a few punches. There we go. See, that wasn't so bad. He didn't give me my arrow back either. So, I have three arrows. Um, it's not great. Ooh, I wonder if I can make that jump. Well, I might not have to. There's a thing there. Okay, so if I just get me, uh, get me my buff. So they'll be down there, won't they? I'm hoping they're not going to see me. Apparently, wait, the marker's pointing me over there, but it was pointing me there, wasn't it? I'm sure it was pointing me there originally. Should be like through that door. Jump over here. Hasn't seen me. Hasn't seen me. Excellent. I wonder if I'm going to have to come back out the same way or if there's going to be like a, another door that'll take me out somewhere. Sometimes there is. It's not like Skyrim where there always is. Okay, there's a skeleton down there. I'm just going to uh, have a peek in this chest. Okay, so I've picked up a steel warhammer, which has um, impacted on my weight a lot, but I'm still good for now. I think that's a skeleton I can sneak past. Where am I even going? Oh, I'm going... Fuck, I'm going way over there. Um, looks like it heads off in that direction. Where well, about fall off. Let's see if I can sneak past him. Because, to be honest, my sneak attacks are what are carrying me at the minute. But I only have three arrows left, so... I can just sneak around him. Fuck, 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 fuck. Do you know what? I'm going to reload. I'm going to reload. Um, Because I think sneaking past him would be cool. I shouldn't have reloaded then. That was cheating, wasn't it? Um, I just thought it would be cool to be able to sneak past him. I thought it would be cool, but then I couldn't do it. And uh, Oh, that's a rock. That's, that's, that's rocks that nearly killed me. But uh, I spotted them. Okay, what's going on here? taking me in the wrong flip direction as well. I need to go over here and it's taking me like way over here. So the skeleton's locked behind the gate. I don't know if the skeleton's going to be able to open the gate. I don't know if there's stuff behind the gate that I want. Or if I should just ignore everything and keep going. I don't know why I'm so scared of these skeletons. I think it's just because it's the sneak attacks that are carrying me, as I said, and I don't have that many arrows. I mean, I could fight them all and defeat them and everything. That would, it would be easy enough. I could do it. Um, you know, it's nice to sometimes just sneak through a place. There's a skeleton over there. Or I can go around the other way. It looks like they're both leading to the same room. Yeah, it's nice to just sometimes do a proper stealth mission. And since oblivion, it, it isn't like you get experience for killing stuff. I, I always hate it in a game where there's like there's stealth mechanics, but you get experience for killing people. So, what's the point in doing a proper sneaky run where you don't kill anyone? Like uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is like that. You can. It feels really good to, to complete an entire fortress or whatever without killing anybody. But then you think, but well, all of that experience I could have got. Okay, I can see spikes. There's a skeleton trapped up there. I like this place. This place is cool. It's, uh, you have to use your thinky brain a bit. Okay, if I encounter a skeleton down here, I might just have to kill him. Oh, flipping neck. Drop a save. I wonder if I can sneak past this guy. If I can sneak past this guy, it will be a testament to my sneaky skills. I wonder if I can do a melee, not a melee, a hand-to-hand -hand sneak attack. That would also be pretty badass. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna That worked! I don't I'm not convinced that worked. Um, oh it was! It was sneak attack for plus six damage! Yay! But there was two of them and I didn't realise there was two of them. And now I'm a bit scared. It said it was plus six damage. I feel like he's still got quite a lot of health. Um I'm gonna try the old fire on them, because that seems to work better against them. I don't know if they have a weakness to fire actually, because I feel like my sneak attacks with my arrows. Which are, I'm sure, only with a plus three. Um, although my sneaks increased since then, so that'll be why. Um, I'm sure they were doing a lot more damage. Uh, that was the wrong thing. 
I'm going to take one of my sorcery potions, actually. Uh, weak potion of sorcery, because I've got so little magic that brings back almost all my magic. Focus on you, because you're nearly dead. I'm going to just punch you in the face if you like. Oh my god, they are so tough. Yeah. Honest to god, they can take so many hits. Okay, that's him down. Do you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my mace of burning out. And, do I not pick up a shield? Shield of the Empire, there we go. Let's see what I do with this uh, this old combination. Because this has reflect damage, so it should be if he hits me, he gets damaged. I think that's what that means, is it? Oh. Doesn't seem to be doing that, I'll be honest. Oh, this mace is doing good stuff. Ooh, because I was thinking it might not be very good because my blood skills were so low. That, that was really good, actually. Okay, we might start using that as a tactic. I might become a blunt expert as well as everything else. Um, I'm becoming very much a sort of um, jack of all trades, aren't I? Oh, there's some ectoplasm in this crate. How interesting. Yes, I'm quite enjoying the old um, mace of burning. I'm forgetting to conjure my armour to get more into my conjuration, aren't I? Um, for my next level up. What's this? Old wooden door to the fangs of the serpent. So how much of this have I missed out? Not much. I mean, I didn't go through those. I don't know what's up there, but it doesn't... I don't know, it might be a corridor into somewhere. I'm not sure. I can always get it on the way back out, though. Right. Oh, I can, I can hear things. That's skeletons? I can hear. That's very heavy footsteps if it is a skeleton. I mean, I can hear the skeletons hissing. I don't like skeletons. No, I find them very creepy, and it's even worse when I can't actually see them. More ectoplasm in that their chest, how fascinating. I think they're above me, those skeletons. I feel like I'm in a sort of death arena down here, and I'm not sure I like it. And the marker on my map is still red, so there's another flipping area I need to go into before I can get the bloody, um, whatever it is. I don't know how I get up there. of the place. I hope I don't have to go back in and come in through another entrance. That would be really irritating. I think I literally do because I've been around the whole thing and I cannot find another door or tunnel or anything. I think I need to go back in and then come back out through a different door. But you know what? It's fine because I've got my mace of burning now and I'm not nearly as scared of these skeletons as I used to be. Of course, how much charge does it have? That's a thing you have to think about, isn't it? I've got 32 uses left. I mean, Bo only has 13 uses left. Yes, you need to get enchanted weapons charged up, don't you? And you can do it yourself, but I can't remember exactly how. Is it something to do with soul gems? Because I know you can trap souls in soul gems, but I can't remember what you use them for. I think it's for... Like, is it for actually enchanting the weapons, or is it for recharging them? I cannot remember. And I can't remember how to do it either. So, yeah. Um, I have to look that up. Or my helpful oblivion expert might just tell me. Okay, so if I head on through here, it's going to bring this up. Is it going to bring the drawbridge down? Yes, it is. And then there's going to be a skeleton who I need to fight. I'm going to launch a bit of uh, fire at him because the base isn't... I mean, the base is good, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't, it doesn't like, make me completely... Like, it doesn't turn me into a god or anything. There we go. I'm basically becoming the master of fire, that's what I'm doing, because I've got my, my bow of burning, my mace of burning, I'm using destruction, fire destruction, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just like becoming like like a fire cat. There is a skeleton, there is a skeleton, there is a skeleton. I think I'm going to go back to me fists, see if I can get a good old an novel there. Sneak- no, I cannot get a sneak attack in on him. <laughs> okay! Let's see how I can do just punching him rather than using up all of my- but The thing is, at the end of this, there's probably going to be a massive scary skeleton who I need to defeat, and I kind of want my, um, mace of burning for that, and I don't want to use up all of its charge. So I mean, these skeletons aren't that scary. I don't know why I'm overreacting to stuff so much, thinking that it's scarier than it is. I think it's because- those Argonians rattled me. Those- oh god, those are poison arrow things, aren't they? Yeah, those Argonians were like really quite tough for being naked. Okay, so where am I actually meant to be going? Well, we've got 
eyes of the serpent there and there but it's pointing me through there so I don't know if that's the way I actually need to go I don't know how to get across there that's scales of the serpent down there but that's the door I came through before isn't it so that's eyes of the serpent over there I think that is probably going to get the bridge down I'm just going to get me help a little bit there's a skeleton wandering around there somewhere this is interesting because the trail to get here, like following the landmarks and stuff like that, was a lot sort of less um, intricate than I thought it would be. However, the fort itself has ended up being a lot more intricate than I thought it would be, so, you know. When I go over there and wake that skeleton up, it's probably going to alert that one anyway, isn't it? Can I bring this down? Bring this down. I think I can uh, sneak up on that skeleton before he turns around. Oh fuck, there's another one over there. That was plus six sneak attack damage. Did not do note to him. Oh god, there's three of them. Okay, how about I just run through here? There's four of them. There's four of them. How many are going to follow me? One. Just one? I can handle one. Two. Okay, I can maybe handle two. I think it's just two. I might I might be able to handle two. I might be able to handle two. Of course, I don't know if there's any more in here who are going to get... Um, oh, my destruction in increased. Brilliant. I'm so happy about that. Um, oh, God. Um, <laughs> there's a ghost up there. I don't like it. I'm going to take my weak potion of health. I'm going to take a weak potion of sorcery. I'm then going to set... Heal minor wounds. I'm going to do that for a bit. And then I'm going to keep punching them all in the face. I might get me mace out, actually. I feel like this is a, a time for the mace. I mean, these ones... I feel like these ones are a bit tougher than the other ones have been so far. Uh, oh, that did work with reflect damage. It did. He hit me and he got uh, injured. It, must, it just mustn't do it every time, which I suppose makes sense. Otherwise, it would be far too easy. I don't want to go too far into this room because there's definitely a spirit up there. And I don't know if it's going to attack me or not. Okay, how many things have I got left on this? I've got six uses left on this. That's a spirit. I don't know if he's going to attack me or not. He might. I'm going to stay here and heal myself up first. So we're in Venom of the Serpent right now. So I don't think I've even been in Eyes of the Serpent. I don't know uh, what Eyes of the Serpent is. I don't know whether it'll be worth taking a peek inside. I mean, this place hasn't been big on loot up till now, to be honest. So I don't know whether it would even be worth it. There's probably just going to be more skeletons. And they don't have no on them except bone meal. <laughs> then again, Oblivion is the kind of game that rewards you for exploring, isn't it? So maybe there's something amazing in Eyes of the Serpent. Okay. I don't know. I mean, that looks like maybe he's going to be someone I can talk to. I can't tell if he's facing me or not. I don't know if he's just going to attack me. I'm going to drop a save. Or if he's going to be someone I can talk to. So I don't want to just run up and hit him. I think he's facing me. Is he facing me? You've awaited your arrival, messenger. Oh, he thinks I'm the messenger. Okay, hello. You have made a long and perilous journey, but there is no time to rest. The army of Raymond is at our doorstep, and our supplies have dwindled. We have awaited your arrival. Tell us, what news do you bring from Akavir? Oh dear. Was I supposed to be paying attention when she told me the history of the place? Um, I'm from the army of Rimmon. Let's not say that. He'll probably attack me. Oh yes, let's just give him his orders. Well done, soldier. Your mission is complete, and you have my thanks. Now we may rest. Long live the Akavir. Okay. After seeing the orders, the Akaviri commander vanished the ruins and I was silent and at peace. After so many years, Akaviri's final mission has been completed. I should proceed ahead and search for Madstone. Does that mean there's no skeletons? Does that mean all of the skeletons have now gone? Because that would be so good. Ooh, Draconian Madstone. 2,000 gold. Very sexy. I bet she's not going to pay me that much for retrieving it. Uh, I've obtained the Dr Draconian Madstone. I should now make the long journey back to Countess Cavain and Bruma. It's not that long of a journey, love. Okay, so we've got a door here that leads us to Scales of the Serpent. So if we go back through here, are there going to be no skeletons? Firstly, where the hell are we? Oh, we're here. Okay. 
Did I leave any skeletons alive here? I can't actually remember. If we head back through into Fangs of the Serpent, though, because I'm sure we haven't been into Eyes of the Serpent, have we? I'm going to drop a save, just in case. Now, there was definitely... Oh, God, I walked past the poison arrows. Jesus Christ. There was definitely a skeleton over there I left alive, and he is now dead. I'm just poisoning myself with arrows, don't mind me. Ah, because they were labelled as undead Akaviri soldier, and now they're just dead Akaviri soldier. Oh, that's a nice touch. That's nice. So, yes, all the skeletons are now dead. That's eyes of the serpent. So. Ah, and they're all dead. Is there going to be something else in here instead? No, there was literally one chest with some gold in it, and a load of dead soldiers, and that was it. And that is leading us back to Fangs of the Serpent. I think it's Mouth of the Serpent we need to go to. And this was the bit that I didn't go to because I was scared of the skeletons, but now I no longer need to be afraid of the skeletons. But uh, yeah, for being like an ancient ruin that nobody's discovered and it's just been left alone for thousands of years, there's not much here, really, like worth nicking. And it is now daylight, so uh, it might look a bit prettier over here now. Although it's still like snowing a lot, so you still can't really see much. But uh, it's quite pretty in it. Oh, and there's still ogres hanging around as well. I didn't realise that. And there's a nice frozen pond. Oh, that's lovely. Should we go, go, go and uh, beat this ogre up? And then I'm gonna put my uh, I'm gonna put my dwarven boots back on because my light armor just increased. What does it actually do? Was this poison and resist disease? Um, I mean, that would be useful in very very particular circumstances, but uh, it's not particularly useful. I suppose I probably could just keep it and never return it to her. I could probably sell it for more money than she's going to give me, but I want, I want to stay in the Countess's good books because she plays a role in the uh, the main quest, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because that's where the Blades place is. It's just outside Bruma and there's the Battle of Bruma. I have it in my head that the Countess is like a friend of the Blades or something like that. I can't even, can't even tell you, I remember. The point is that you want to stay on the good side of the nobility. Am I supposed to be impressed? Oh, I'm on my way back to Bruma and there's a fight going on between one bandit and the entire flipping city guard. And I'll be honest, they are not doing the best job. Oh, there we go. They finally got her. <gasps> Did she have arrows on her? She had arrows on her. Steel arrows, which are not the best, but silver arrows. Yay. Ooh, Regner's key. Huh, how interesting. My Elder Darkheart. Like Why is that name familiar? Because I know what? there is a quest. It, sorry, I'm just getting my conjuration up while I'm here. Um, I know there is a quest in Bruma about, like, thieves. Three thieves or something who hid something somewhere. I can't remember exactly, but... Um, and you have to, like, get all of their keys in order to get the treasure or something like that. I can't entirely remember. I wonder if she's one of them. I don't know why she was just randomly being attacked by the Imperial Guard, but okay. Okay, so, back in Bruma. The first thing I want yes. to do before anything else is see if I can find somebody who is selling spells so I can get, like, summoning spells going on. Um, because I feel like I only just leveled up and I realise I haven't actually, like, um, you know, properly leveled up yet. But I feel like I'm, I've already leveled up quite a few of my major skills. I know I leveled up my sneak, my light armour, I think twice. Maybe my security got leveled up a bit as well, which is why I'm now spamming Conjuration, because I don't want my next level up to be crap. So, ah, that's the Major Skill. There might be somebody in the Major Skill selling spells, mightn't there? Well, if there is, they're all hiding behind locked doors at the minute, and I don't want to join the Major Skill quite yet. So, well, that's suppose I might as well. There's nothing stopping us. I am trying to become more of a magic user. It makes sense for me to join the Major Skill. I can't really see that there's any, like, magic shops or anything around the place. Huh. Hey, what we're gonna do? We'll nip inside the Fighters Guild. We'll go to sleep, we'll level up, and then we'll think about it. Because the reason why I don't want to join the Majors Guild is because I want to be able to steal their stuff. Ooh. I can sleep in the boss's bed. Uh, I've never been in this Fighters Guild yet, have I? Why are you following me about? I'm literally part of the Fighters Guild. You don't need to watch what I'm doing. Yeah, so my, my whole reasoning behind not joining the Mages Guild was that uh, I want to be able to steal their stuff, because there's always a lot of good stuff that you can steal, which counts towards my fencing. Um, and if you join them, it's not counted as stealing, you can just have it all. Um, but, even when you sell stuff to your fences that isn't stolen, it still seems to count towards your stolen goods. Oh. So, Hello. I don't think that reasoning really holds up, does it? 
So I may as well just join the the uh, Majors Guild. Uh, I need to find a bed. I mean, I know I could sleep in the boss's bed, but I feel strange doing that. I mean, I'm assuming that's the boss's bed. It was in an office. Ooh, this looks a bit better. This is quite fancy for the Fighters Guild, actually. Yeah, well, we'll sleep here for, uh, let's say, 10 hours. We've had a busy few days. Gonna have a nice 10 hours nap. And we get to level up. Okay. Yeah, we've done quite well, actually. We've not done as well as I th thought we had. Um, I thought we would probably have plus five in endurance. Yes, but we've got plus five in intelligence, which is the one we wanted because we want more magic. Got plus five in willpower, which we also wanted because... Hmm, effects are quickly regenerate magic. Yes, I suppose we do need that, actually. And then, now, interesting, because I've always been putting into endurance because I need lots of endurance because of my shirtless status. However, I also need more speed because I'm very slow. More strength is useful as well so I can carry stuff and so I can punch people better. Oh, hand to hand gets your strength up, not your endurance. I thought hand to hand got your endurance up. Ah, that's why I've not got as many as I thought. So it's only heavy armor and block and stuff that have been getting that up and I've not been blocking that much. Okay, do you know what? I'm gonna put into speed. I re This is looking very even at the minute, isn't it? And I don't like it. I should be like, there should be, have it. I should have at least like two or three which are like much higher than all the others by now but uh you know still i think we are headed kind of in the right direction if we start focusing on uh intelligence and whatnot a little bit more right i'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna head to, to um company. yes i'm gonna head to shaden hall because um it's very dark for six o'clock in the morning uh, i'm gonna head to shaden hall because it's sort of in the general vicinity Hello. of the uh the monastery place kind of but they're more likely to have a magic shop. We'll have a little fast travel down to Shaden Hall. Okay, so it doesn't have a magic shop, but it does have a Majors Guild with majors who sell things. So, summon Scamp. I want that one. Uh, for 309 gold, I didn't even look at the price. <laughs> yeah, I've got plenty of money at the minute, and I also saw Open Easy Lock. So I've got Open Very Easy Lock. But that's Open Easy Lock, so we'll get that going on. Oh, we've also got Flash Bolt. For uh, 280, well, we'll get that. Why not? I've got plenty of money at the minute. I can afford to buy things that I don't know whether I'll be able to use. Ooh, water breathing for 30 seconds. Requires alteration skill of 25, though. And alteration, not really my thing, I'll be honest. Okay, so uh, we have a little look-see. So, flash bolt. Fire damage, 20 points on target. Let's see if we can actually use that. Ooh, I can. It takes up over half of my magic. But... How much does Flare do? Six points of damage. Yeah, so that's much, much better. So in a pinch. Uh, and then we've got... Summon Scamp. Let's see how much magic I need to get back before it let me use it quite a lot. Quite a lot. And then I do that. And it summons me a Scamp. So it's going to take up a lot of my magic. But if I keep doing it, I'll be able to get more and more points in intelligence, won't I? I mean, it's going to be an uphill battle. Don't get me wrong. But... Uh, Hopefully. I mean, how close am I to levelling up already? Because I might I might actually be closer than I should be. Yeah, I'm nearly halfway. Because I did get a lot of uh, major skill level ups during that quest. I never went... I never gave the bloody thing back to the Countess, did I? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to need to fast travel back to Bruma. Okay, so I'm already pretty close to getting my conjuration up again. Um, where's my mysticism at? Right, I need to start using mysticism more. So I, the only thing I've got in mysticism is, um, yeah, minor life detection. But if I keep doing it, see, it's going to go up really quickly because it's so low. So if I just keep doing it all the time, um, I can detect people, but from quite far away. Let's see what the actual distance is. Right, so it's about that distance. And then... She disappears about there. That's still actually quite... Decent. Also, I'm discovering new topics and all sorts. Yeah, so my mysticism's going up really, really quickly, so that'll get me plenty of points in uh, intelligence, which is the one that I really want to level up. I, want, I mean, I want willpower as well, but the intelligence is the one I really want. Okay, so, before I do anything, I'm just going to very quickly fast travel back to Bruma. Because um, I completely forgot that I actually, like, you know, need to give the flipping thing to the Countess. Countess, I've got a thing for you. Have you recovered the Madstone? Yes, of course I have. Why else would I be here? I never thought it possible. I mean, I had hoped, but to actually hold it in my hands. Oh, it's more beautiful than I imagined it. 
Congratulations. I had a feeling you were the right person for the job. And it seems I owe you a reward. This Akaviri ring was found with the messenger's diary. It awards the wearer with increased agility and resistance to harmful magic. It's known as the Ring of the Viper Eye. I hope it serves you well in your future journeys. Okay, is that it? Because I could have got flipping 2,000 gold for that bloody thing. Uh, actually, I probably couldn't. You can never get the actual amount, can you? Like, you can never you can never get the amount that it is actually for. I suppose probably if you've got incredible mercantile skill that you can. I wonder if she'll let me buy a house. I asked myself, do I like you enough to tell you about this? Seriously? she's Now she's glaring at me like I went through hell to get that thing for you. Okay. Do you know what? I probably couldn't afford it anyway, so we'll, be always on your we'll worry about that later. Right, anyway, back to Shadenhall. Uh, I'm going to have a little look-see at that ring that she gave me. Ring of the Viper Eye. Fortify agility 6 points. Resist magic 8%. Quite good. Can I wear two rings at once? Yes, I can. Excellent. I think that, yeah, I think that's quite good. How much is it worth? 2,000. So she gave me something that's worth exact. Okay, fair play to you then, love. And then she gave me the 25 gold on top of it. So I, I, have, I have actually made more um, in value by giving it to her rather than just selling it. Okay, I'm going to head into the Fighters Guild. Um, because I think this was the one that I needed to go to, to uh, advance. Hello! You here looking for work, meat? Maybe you want a contract? Yes, a contract would be brilliant. I suppose I've got something for you. We need a weapons shipment delivered to Desolate Mine. That's your job. Okay. Do I get anything more than that, or is that literally it? Oh, apparently that's literally it. Okie dokie. Ass, and boot. gave me a steel warhammer and a steel longsword. I'm going to use... Oh, and a steel bow. Like, I don't need any of those things. I'm... I'm... Oh, wait! No, that's the weapons shipment. <laughs> it's all right. I, I was listening. I was paying attention. So I'm going to deliver a steel warhammer, a steel sword and a, a, a steel bow. I can't imagine that that's going to be of terrible use to whoever it is who needs uh, weapons but all right i remember something about this one like don't you get there and everybody's dead or something like that wait it's only our there which isn't too far away we could nip over there tonight and do it okay i've discovered knights of the thorn lodge that's the thing that i sort of half vaguely remember um i'm sure i'll come up at some point in the future just keep getting me mysticism up it's going up really quick just like uh, conjuration walls to begin with so hopefully I should be able to get those bonuses to intelligence. Okay, I have found Desolate Mine. Nothing... I was going to say there's nothing immediately jumping out at me. There's a goblin! Luckily I managed to punch him in the face nice and easy. I have not been anywhere to drop off all of my stuff, have I? Like, to sell all of my stuff. And I'm almost at capacity. Okay. So yes, it looks like goblins have taken over Desolate Mine, I'm going to assume. Luckily, they go down nice and easy. Oh, there's people. Hello, people. You've made it, and just in time. We've got trouble with goblins here. I'll take the bow. You give the weapons to my other two men. Okay, I like how she had her own arrows, though. She better not have taken my flipping arrows. Um, I'm going to assume they're all going to die. I think that's what I was remembering when I said you get there and they're, they're, they're all dead. I think when I did this, they all ended up dying because it's really hard to keep other people alive. Okay, do you want me to go ahead first? Is that what you're waiting for? Because I don't feel I was threatened by goblins, I'll be honest with you, which may be, you know, a sign. Am I supposed... Do I need to talk to them all or something? Yeah, because I haven't given them their weapons yet, have I? Excellent. I long to sink a blade into some goblin flesh. Ah, I can choose what to give him. Well, let's give him the sword. A blade. Fantastic. Let us take the fight to these vile creatures. He looks like a sword kind of a person. I'm uh, waiting. And then you can have the hammer because you're, you're an orc. You're the a hammer. There we go. So he's got a hammer. Okay. He's got a long sword. I've given the weapons to the three fighters. We should now clear the mine of goblins. Okay, I'm going to go first. You lot, try not to die. I'm going to assume stealth is not the way forward. So he's going to get ahead of me because everybody's faster than I am. Whoa, I'm being slightly swarmed here, guys. Are any of you still alive? Because they've all just run off in different directions. Don't fire your flipping arrows at me. This is a dead end. This was a bad place to come running to. Well, the orc's still alive. So that's something. 
They're all still alive so far. Okay. Okay, so we've got them backed into a corner. What I'm going to do is I have a potion of sorcery, which I'm going to take. And then I'm going to... Uh, where is it? Summon Scamp. There we go. I've actually summoned a scamp, guys. So we're less outnumbered than uh, than we were. I accidentally punched the orc. That's not good. But this guy should be down soon. They're attacking my scamp. What the actual hell is wrong with them? I don't need to attack my scamp. Are they all still alive? They're all still alive at the moment. Okay, I think everybody's still alive. We're only being attacked by one at the moment, I think. That's that goblin down. So she's definitely still alive. He's still alive. There's some dead miners. I don't know where the uh, the elf guy's gone. He better not be dead. I didn't hear him shouting things in the last battle, though. Oh, she's been shooting them all with steel arrows. That's brilliant, because now I can get steel arrows. Right, so that's the orc guy. I don't know where the others have gone. I'm slightly worried that they might have run a bit further in. Looting all of these arrows. Arrows are flipping gold dust. Oh, yeah, I can hear her firing her... Uh, Arrows. I don't know where she is though. She better not be about to get herself killed. Where is she? So he's running off the line. I don't know where the elf's gone. She's there. Good. So you managed to kill a goblin. Excellent. I, I don't know where the elf is. And is that him? That's him. The elf is dead and he had a... He had a steel arrow in him, which makes me think he was shot by his own flipping side. Which would not surprise me at all. Oh, hello! You're a savage goblin, and you're quite tough. Would my friends like to come and help me, please? That would be really useful. Oh, flipping egg. Well, my heavy armor skill increased, so I suppose that's, uh, that's something, in it? Come on, orcs are meant to be tough. You'll have to be able to take him on. I think he's, he's stuck behind the thing. Come on, we've got him right where we want him. She isn't even firing at him. Hey, there we go. I punched him in the face and he fell over. And he, all those steel arrows that she put in him and he only gave one back. That's really irritating. Okay, is that all of them? The desolate mine is now clear of the goblins infesting it. I should return for payment. Yay. I wonder if he's going to be angry that one of his guys died. Only one, though. Like, I kept the other two alive. I think that's quite impressive. Well, you got the weapons there, but there were casualties after. Do better in the future or don't come to me for work. Here's your reward. Now, hang on a minute. There was one casualty and he was also a member of the Thieves Guild. Not the Thieves Guild, the, uh, the Fighters Guild. So he should kind of have been looking after himself, I would have thought. It's not my responsibility to make sure he got out alive. But anyway, uh, yes, 160 gold. It would probably have been more if uh, he hadn't died. So can you give me another contract, please? Oh, actually, I wonder if I can advance. Looks like it's time for a promotion. Due to your performance, I name you Journeyman of the Fighters Guild. Yay! That doesn't actually mean anything. It's just, just, it just means he said a thing and now I feel good about myself. Okay, contract. You're needed in Coral. Report to Vilena Danton. She's got some duties for you to take care of. Okay, Coral. Now, I don't have anything else that needs doing in Coral, so that'll probably have to wait for a while. Now, yes, I overheard rumours about fines in Shadenhall, didn't I? Ever since Ulrich Leyland took over the Captain of the Guard post, this city's gone downhill. It's getting almost scary to walk the streets. The Guards have imposed new ridiculously heavy fines for every infraction under the sun. They almost seem to make up laws just for charging fines. If you can't pay the fine, they can take your property away, or toss you in the castle dungeons. Nothing we can do about it, really. If you're interested, go talk to Lavana Nadarin. She seems the most outspoken against Ulrich and his new fines. Okay, do you know what? One thing I am very good at is taking down guard captains. <laughs> I have experience in, uh, in that area of things. So, I think what we're going to do, because it's night time, I'm going to take a little nap just to get us to the morning. Oh my God, all those ogre's teeth that I got. Got me 570 gold. A fine transaction. That's all right, isn't it? Okay, so um, I have sold all of my stuff. I've repaired all my equipment and I've recharged my uh, enchanted items, which was quite expensive actually. It was like about 200 gold each or something like that. Um, 
So it would be useful to be able to recharge stuff myself, but I don't know how to do that. I think it may involve soul gems, but I'm not quite sure. I'm sure my friendly Oblivion expert will tell me. <laughs> Starting to feel sorry for my Oblivion expert. I'm just giving Come them on. homework with every single video, aren't I? Um, it's fine. I'll look it up in the wiki. It'll be fine. I'll look up how to uh, how to recharge uh, enchanted items and stuff like that. We've also picked up a very intriguing quest to do with fines in Shaden Hall. So I think next time we will probably do that. I know we were going to go to the monastery this time and that hasn't ended up happening. But um, next time I think we'll do the fines one because it sounds interesting and maybe, just maybe, we'll start moving towards the monastery. Who knows? But for now, I am going to leave you with this very picturesque view of Shaden Hall, which is an incredibly pretty city. And I shall see you again next time.